This is the 2016 Ford Explorer. It's been redesigned and it looks really good. This model is the Sport four-wheel drive. You can see in the front we've got a new look and it's not only stylish it's also functional because behind the grill are active grill shutters that uh, allow it to get better dynamics, aerodynamics, and it's got a lot of interesting uh, design cues with the lighting. This model has optional 20 inch alloy wheels they are looking really good. And let's go around to the back. We really like the styling. They've done a very nice job enhancing it. And we've got a very cool feature inside. The third row seats have remote controls here. And you can do all sorts of neat things with it. Like for example, you press the button, watch the seats fold. Isn't that cool? And then you can press this button to stow them. And down they go. And now you have a nice flat load floor to put in all sorts of cargo. That would be really handy if you're carrying a lot of things and uh, you just want to do it automatically. You press it back to normal, it goes back to normal. Let's close the tailgate. Let's look under the hood. This model has a, a twin turbocharged engine. It's the Sport. This is a 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6 and it has twin turbos as I mentioned and 365 horsepower and 350 foot-pounds of torque so it definitely moves. The Sport model also has a sport suspension which would definitely uh, make it ride better and we're going to do a driving video shortly. Uh, this one has the optional second row uh, individual seating, second row buckets. Of course you can get it with a bench too and you can look back here and uh, see those were the seats we just raised. The headrest will go up of course. We have uh, optional dual panel moonroof too and let's go in the front seat. This has a uh, six-speed select shift automatic transmission and down here are the controls for the four-wheel drive as you can see and uh, it's uh, everything in the cabin seems to be laid out really well it's very nicely done and let's start her up we really like the dash design the instrument cluster has uh, very nicely uh, laid out uh, features that you can access from uh, the steering wheel controls by pressing the buttons on the steering wheel. And the center display, uh, this one has a very nice audio system uh, by Sony. It has uh, 390 watts and 12 speakers. And of course we have all the multifunctional things uh, that you can do uh, with the center display. And I don't have my phone synced, unfortunately, but it's got navigation, it's got all sorts of uh, features you can do. Uh, the 2016 Explorer also has some new features that this model is equipped with, including uh, advanced safety features like adaptive cruise control, blind spot detection, uh, lane keeping assist, cross traffic alert, and all kinds of neat stuff like that. So Ford has done a great job 
improving the 2016 Explorer. It's a very popular vehicle. Uh, definitely you see a lot of them out there and, and with all the improvements we have for 2016, you're probably going to see a lot more. So be sure to see our separate uh, Ford Explorer Sport driving video on YouTube. And for our review, go to carnichiwa.com. We'll have a story there before too long. Thanks for joining us.